Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. The name's Defender, and welcome to day six of Hades. Previously, um, we escaped. Yeah, I was I was not anticipating that either, but uh, we did, and we actually found Persephone. We couldn't stay very long, but hey, we know she's alive, and she knows we're alive. So hey, that's a definite step up. Unfortunately, Hades does not seem like he's going to allow us to continue, even though he knows that she's alive now. Great. Well, we escaped once, so who's to say we can't do it again? But, um, uh, I mentioned this previously, but now it's time to talk about it. This is the Pact of Punishment. Looks like Father's changed the terms of our relationship. All right, so I'm just going to read this because it summarizes things well. The pack can make escaping more difficult via various nasty conditions. Each condition you accept adds some heat to your heat gauge. While your heat gauge is full, you can earn valuable bounties. You earn one bounty the first time you vanquish the, the boss of each underworld region while your heat gauge is full. Once you successfully escape, you can earn more bounties if you turn up the heat. You're, you earn bounties for each weapon. How much heat you need is per weapon as well. If things get too hot, try switching weapons. So, um... Uh, as you can see, if you've played other Super Giant games, a lot of these conditions are pretty familiar to you. Might as well just go down the list. I'm not going to toggle any of these on right now, because as you can see, we haven't even made an escape attempt with the uh, Varatha the Eternal Spear yet, so there's no reason to. Let's see, we got Hard Labor, so enemies deal more damage per rank. If it's bounties I'm after, no need to turn the heat up this high. And as you can see, you can uh, crank up certain conditions to specific levels. Oh, I will say there is one funny thing. Because if you crank up the gauge too much, um, well, the game will warn you about that. There's lasting consequences, which means that healing effects are less powerful. Convenience fee, all prices are higher. Jury summons, there are more enemies in standard encounters. The calisthenics program, all enemies have more life. Benefits package, armored foes have additional perks, which can make fighting them even more annoying. Middle management, many bosses contain armored foes or some other problem. Underworld customs, where you have to get rid of a boon in order to move to the new next region. Forced overtime, enemies move faster. As far as it goes. Heightened security, traps deal way more damage. Damage control, um, enemies have little shields that will block first instances of damage. Approval process, meaning you have fewer choices when accepting boons, items, or upgrades. And tight deadlines, you now have a limited amount of time to escape each region of the underworld. Great, you made Heat Gauge cry, happy. <laughs> I love it when games do that, but obviously I'm not going to crank things up that much. And also probably not ever, because, you know, I'm, not, I'm never going to get to this point in the amount of time that I have. All right, so no heat, so let's just make our first escape with the Eternal Spear. I don't think so. I agree. Blah, that is cold. Ah, this is the last Olympian god we can meet. We actually had the opportunity to meet them earlier, but uh, might as well do so now. Last time I felt a chill like this was on the surface, but who? Well, one way to find out, then in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. I understand, young Zagreus, that you would seek to leave that bitter darkness for this bitter cold. Quite honestly, I fail to see why. But I'll aid your plight, why not? For I can offer plenty of assistance, and you soon shall grow fond of it, I think. So this is Demeter. Let's go with... You know what, let's go with Frost Strike. Your attack is stronger and inflicts Chill. Chill is a status effect that stacks up to 10 times, and for 8 seconds, victim is slowed by 4% for each stack they have. It's generally regarded that Chill is, like, the best status effect, because, as it turns out, just giving yourself more time to evade attacks is really handy. I have the power of the freezing surface now. Alright, so... Just gonna make another escape attempt. I'm gonna be looking for keys on this run, cause, um, well, we need to be able to unlock the next weapon available to us. And we need more talents, cause we're actually kind of running low on what we can upgrade on the Mirror of Night, so... We just need more options. Dead. What do we have? 
have here? Hmm. Let's get some health. So yeah, the uh, Varath of the Eternal Spear. Uh, I'm pretty sure I talked about this at the start, of, at the end of the last run. But in case if I didn't, uh, it lets you poke things real good. It gives you good reach. Uh, your attack speed's a little slow, but that's okay. If you, after all, if the enemy never gets close to you, they can't hit you, unless they're shooting projectiles. Okay, ooh. Chaos or a key? It's gotta be chaos. Let me have it. The fathomless expanses hidden in darkest corners of the underworld stretch well past the notice of Lord Hades himself. And yet, the interfering prince somehow discovers passage there. Wasn't all that hard to find, really. No, really, it uh, it wasn't. All right, well, let's talk to Master Chaos again. How about... No, let's go with Slippery Flourish. Let's shake this curse. It's an interesting combination of words. Um, okay, so what was it? You cannot collect bloodstones for 10.25 seconds. All right. Let's get another Demeter boon. Yeah, you can also throw the spear. And it even comes back to you, again, like a boomerang, even though it shouldn't be able to. If you hold your attack, you can charge up a spin attack that has two different levels. The higher the level, the more damage it deals, and the more re reach it has. Lady Demeter. Olympus, I accept this message. Hmm... No, let's just, let's just go for maximum chill factor. Um, we have no money, so I'm going to take some darkness. But yeah, after our first escape, we got a thousand darkness with which we were able to really upgrade ourselves, and so now I have two additional uses of Death Defiance, so I'm hoping that uh, that alone will be enough to help us escape more consistently. Take that. Alright, Lady Athena. Let's see, will it be another Doomstone? Oh, these guys. You and me. The spin attack does have a quite a bit of cooldown on it, but if you dash immediately after using it, you can basically just skip all of it. Ow. All right, and now we just deal more damage with our special. The biting cold surrounding you must mean the goddess of seasons decided to take an interest in your struggle, Zagreus. I did not count on Demeter being a part of this. Take heart, though use discretion around her. Understood. Oh, Divine Dash is so good, but I want to get the uh, Faded Prophecy, so I'll take Holy Shield. After you take damage, damage flows around you and briefly deflect. All right, more darkness. But yeah, I hope you're all really enjoying the series. I'm having a lot of fun producing it. Again, I I admit, I was not anticipating it to go as smoothly as it is. But uh, that's just kind of the fun thing of doing something like this. Don't know quite how it's gonna go. I would like the opportunity to get more keys. Although, admittedly, the first chance I saw to get a key, uh, Master Chaos showed up, and it's like, well, you know, that's just kind of an unfair choice. Ooh! That sparkling point, that's where we can use the rod of fishing. Although, obviously, you shouldn't fish while you're in the middle of combat. Keep 
All right. Okay. So, just stand near the fishing point. Let's fish. Wait for the bobber to plunge completely under the water before you uh, pull it up. Otherwise, you'll miss the fish. Like that. I caught a knucklehead. A knucklehead. All right. And uh, we won't be able to do anything with these fish yet, but uh, we will between runs. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll take some some darkness, thanks. Uh, no, nope, I'm good. Do I take a key or some nectar? Why do you keep making me make these choices? Why couldn't it be a key and some gemstones? I take the key easy. Um, nah, it's gotta be the nectar. Death is inescapable. Just get a spin attack preemptively ready. I killed only one enemy with it, but that's okay. You're hosed. And yes, it should be mentioned your spin attack does count as a regular attack, so any, uh, attack buffs you have, as well as any effects will uh, attach themselves to your spin attack. I am taking a lot of cheap shots because I keep trying to spin attack. I shall deal with you later then. There. Perfect gift. Another bottle of nectar. All right, let's get some obol. Oh yeah, we also got the upgrade where now enemies with cast stuck in them will take additional damage. That'll help us a lot. Easy enough. Ooh, let's go with a Daedalus hammer. That's a fairly easy choice if you ask me. Armored louts, great. Might as well get some money for my wanton property destruction. Not that I'm already not doing that, but it feels good to be paid for it either way. Ow. I gotta say, I love the Eternal Spear. I just have good reach, and I got a good uh, ability to fight at a distance. Hmm. You know what? We're already going for all the special damage. Let's just keep going all the way. All tuned up. Anything else? Nope. All right, let's see what caron has got in his shop. He's got some food. That's good. A shiny pot. Charon, mate. Now, hypothetically, if I provided you with, say, a thousand coins, would you be willing to give me a ride in your beautiful boat? Upriver, I should say, specifically. Uh, I don't speak grunt, but I'm gonna guess that's a no. I had to ask. Yeah, that's a no. Um... Let's see what Poseidon has for us. Just what I need. And we'll also get some food. Hmm. Well, it worked so well for us last time. Might as well take it again. The power of the sea. All right. Well, uh, let's go. A 
back, Meg. I heard that you escaped. Then what are you still doing here? Forget something along the way. You know, I think I'd rather fight you to the death again than try to answer either of those questions right now. I don't know what you're up to, Zagreus, but I guess it doesn't matter either way. All that matters is you're not getting past me. We'll see about that. I'm just gonna stay right here, I think. He says as he still gets shot. I always was bad at hide and seek. And that was before the homing projectiles came into play. All right. Got you that time, Meg. Blood. All right, more blood. Still can't do anything with that, but I'm still grateful to get it. Let's keep going. Let's see. I'm just going to keep the spiked collar. That's what the house contractor ordered. Oh yeah, and now we can switch keepsakes in between regions. You know what? Let's get some more chaos. Nothing worth giving up. Not really. I'll just go on. Done. Made it to Asphodel. Let's make sure there aren't any shiny urns to break. Is this another key? No, that's a Hermes boon. Okay. It would have been funny if I had to make another choice between chaos or a key. Alright. But I mean I paid money for this, so I'm definitely taking the chaos gate. Oh. Yes! You can actually fish in chaos. What lurks in the waters of chaos? I don't know, let's find out. Trying to psych me out. You know what? Hmm. I'll hold on to it. In the name of Hades. Let's get addled lunge for the next four encounters. Each time you cast, get hit for damage. But then my dash strike deals more damage. Alright, another bottle of nectar. But yeah, considering we don't have much left to upgrade on the Mirror of Night until we get more keys, I'm actually not that interested in darkness. Oh, pfft. Hoi doi, I, I, I already forgot. It's just so natural for me to just fling my cast at people. So, uh, I'll try not to do that again. I guess I can just resort to continuously stabbing people. I suppose that'll have to be good enough. Not yet. Mine. Sweet. Still not anything worth giving up. Ooh, an infernal trove. Whatever, let's try it. Get a spin attack ready. Well, I'd say that was pretty good. Oh. There we go. You know, I have better things to do. There we go. Hmm. Oh. 
Hmm. It's not a lot of money. I'll go with darkness. Watch it! No, you're getting plowed into. Get that little guy out of here. These armored slam dancers, it's very, very not cool. Especially when your blast radius appears to be bigger than I thought it was. Hmm. You know what? Let's get a palm. Slam dances. You know, this, this is kind of like flash dance, except, you know, with explosives and, and slamming. Smash dance. Oh no. What to upgrade? Let's upgrade Poseidon's aid. There's another... Hmm. Let's see what's in the well. I'm definitely taking the Hydrolite. Remember, it's important to say stay hydrated. Yes, yes. You should know that I make bad jokes like that by now. Uh... Let's just keep going with Poseidon. And it looks like we're not getting out of this without a challenge, so hopefully it's not the Witch's Circle. All right, it's not the Witch's Circle. I have to say, the barge of death is never late. At least after I clear this encounter, I'll be able to use my cast again without hurting myself. There we go. Really? That still hit me. Oh, you know, just a casual one health, no big deal. Uncle Poseidon. So, little Hades, doubtless you have seen that we upon Olympus also lend our favor to the mighty Theseus, who bars your passage from Elysium. Now, don't you take it personally there, because our blessings go to all who deserve them. Although we try to save the best for you. A boon for a boon. So yeah, sometimes um, gods will offer boons that let you exchange them, so we can trade uh, Frost Flourish for Tempest Flourish. But I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, more duration. That's good. Let's take Rip Current. All right, more gems. Gotta say, I feel like I'm not really playing at my best. Although I guess after last session, it would make sense that, you know, gotta have a little bit of cooldown. A 
That's an interesting spot for enemies. Thankfully, they're dead. Just keep moving and throwing, moving and throwing. That's the aim of the game here. Hmm. I should definitely try to get some health if I can, so let's go to Caron's shop. Oh, good. I even got a little more money. Not that it'll help us buy any more things. 27 health. You know what? I'm feeling bold. Let's get a Dionysus boot. Cheers, mate. Let's get a strong drink. All right, well. 30 health, that should be more than enough for the Bone Hydra. Changed up your look again, have you, Hydra? No, oh, the projectile waves. Okay, that's that's not too bad. All right, now it's time to head you off. Really, that hit me. I do not appreciate that. I agree. Very inconsiderate that you're trying to murder me repeatedly. Might as well just take that money while I'm here so I don't forget about it. Yo, that extra duration is gonna help so much. There. Come on, come on out. Oh, hey, watch it. That's two down. I mean, if you're just gonna stand there and take it, you know, I'll just keep stabbing you. I got no issue with that. I don't think so. There we go. A diamond. keep. All right, now let's try not to melt before we escape, because thankfully strong drink means we don't have to waste a death defiance. surpassed my Hydra. I sure did, father. Ah. Let's see here. I can't afford anything here. Well, if I give up a boon, I can. No, I don't think that's worth it. All right, so I managed to uh, scrape my way out on six health. It's like they say, fortune favors the bold. 
Sometimes. Let's slay some heroes then. We'll see, my max health is a little low, so I'm gonna see if I can't try and upgrade it. Hmm. Got some good boons. You know what? I'll get a palm. No, I'm not interested in playing tennis with you right now. What do I look like? Do I look like Link? duration, that's nice. You know what? I'm going to increase my attack damage. See any shiny urns? Nope. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for a Daedalus Hammer. More of you? Okay. I mean, you're easy enough to kill, so I'm appreciative of that. Yo, the return critical hit damage is so good. Killing the little spreaders first, because the butterfly balls are just more of an annoyance. All right. My weapon's hidden talents. Hmm. How about... You know what? I've got a dash strike upgrade. That should do it. All right, so now I can't dash quite as far, but uh, my dash should deal way more damage now. Because we got, well, that boon from Chaos. Ooh, Centaur Heart. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, another fishing point. Okay, that's just disgusting. Oh, where'd he go? There he went. Okay. Should keep me going. All right, let's see what we can dredge up. Got to hold nice and still. Got a bite. I got a carp. A carp. All right, what's in the well? Let's have a look here. Nope. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna get another Poseidon boon. The Bull of Minas. Oh, hello. You come from the bowels of hell. This is not your place. Agreed on both counts. Just passing through, so if you'll excuse me. I will not. Champion of Elysium would never back down from such a contest. Neither will I. All right. So yes, as you can see, um, sometimes you'll just find Asterius by himself, and he fights identically to how he does in the final contest. So if you fought him before, you know exactly his tricks. But I gotta say, it's a lot easier to fight him when you don't have Theseus, you know, talking smack and also throwing his spear at you.
now. Get careless. Oh, come on. There we go. And yes, you don't have to deplete his health all the way. If I beat the bull of Minos, Lord Poseidon, in the name of All right, what have you got for us? An exchange. Ooh. Let's go with Razor Shoals. Your boons with knockaway effects also rupture foes. Foes take damage every time while moving for a few seconds. Ah, key. The thing that I said I was going to try to get as many as I can. And this is the first one I'm going to get. I think I'm just going to stand here for a moment. Easy. Oh. Okay, everyone's just dead. Cool. I take a Hermes spoon or I take some Obel. You know what? I'm low on cash. I'm going to take some Obel. That is a lot of long spears. Let's blow them up, shall we? And by all of them, I mean just one. But that's more than zero. That extra duration is so good! Are you serious? Alright, got all right, they're gone. I got one archer. Oh boy. First, let's see what's in the well. Hmm. Oh yeah, those are good stuff. I'll get some treasure and some hydrolite. What's in? Ooh, more obol. All right, I'll take it. You leave my troops alone. Goodbye. Worthless wretches. That's that. All right, I'll take that. Got to get the centaur heart. This is an interesting cycle we appear to have gotten ourselves into. But it's interesting for me. I'm sure I'm pretty sure it's nothing but total misery for these chariots. But they keep trying to run me over, and so they deserve it. Oh, boy. And that's why the Void Stones suck. Alright. Oh! My old spiked collar has increased. 
Now it increases my health by 38 points. Much better. Uh, any boons worth getting rid of? Not especially. Hmm. You know what? Let's get some gems. Ugh. Think you're so funny and cool with your long range attacks. Die. You know what's cooler than that? Being alive, which you're not. That's how we do things. Okay. All that for five measly gems. Hmm. Definitely gonna stop by Charon's shop here. Took care of those for you, mate. If only he would pay us for, uh... Garbage removal. That'd be nice. Alright, you know what? Um, let's get some food. Let's see what's in the bag. Oh yeah, he sure seems like he's really good uh conversationalist. Um Hmm. A drunken dash. And yeah, let's get a Hermes boon. Why hello, fellas. Odd that we're running into one another here. Among the wares of my professional associate, I mean. Must be some sort of clerical mistake. You know what? Let's get Swift Flourish. I'm already using my special a lot, so. If I can use it faster, that's better. Hello, mental gentlemen. We're well equipped to deal with you, short one. Though I know better than to disregard your might. Speak for yourself, Asterius. I, for one, know only pure contempt for this foul demon and his underhanded fighting style. A style we shall easily dismantle now. Okay, so if you noticed, the Minotaur has less health. If you fight the Minotaur in one of the uh, side rooms, like in one of the challenge encounters, you'll start. He'll start this fight with less health. And as you can see, it's really making a huge difference, because he's just about, yeah, he's already in his, you know, damage phase. You know what, I'm just gonna keep charging. I'm just gonna keep running him over. Alright, now it's just time for a one on one. I'm pretty sure that was the fastest we've dealt with the Minotaur. Spear 
That might be true, but, uh, you know, if you're dead, you can't keep throwing it at me, so... Oh, Aphrodite! I love with how the how much contempt he compliments you. I just think that's funny. He's such a petty guy. Yes, you are still, because you're not moving anymore. Thank you for your support, my shade. That shade is making so much money if they're betting on my fights. I shall have to have a word with our king, Theseus. Tell him I said hi. Alright, let's get some more health. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep it. Goodbye. Nothing. Can I get rid of anything? It's worth giving up. Nah. Cut through Elysium. All right. Good. On to the Temple of Sticks. Hope it's nicer outside than it is in here. There's some good things for sale. A lot of Poseidon boons. I mean, I'm okay with that. Alright, so what do we have available? You know what? I'm feeling bold. I've been taking all of the bold decisions this run, so might as well keep going with it. I'm gonna go to a challenge room. Try this way. You. Ugh, more vermin. Alright, cool. Let's keep on keeping on. I don't know, maybe it's just the fact that the last run, we, I actually succeeded. And now that I've got two additional uses of Death Defiance, maybe I'm just feeling more confident in general. Of course, that'll just make it even funnier when my confidence gets punished. That's one big satyr. Ooh, a giant satyr. All right, so the giant satyr um, fires his poison darts in a, in a repeated stream instead of the uh, single shots that regular satyrs do and the fan pattern that the regular armored satyrs do. in hell. Let's just go down this Sata hole. Works for me. Need to keep looking down those passageways. Alright, so... Hmm... Let's get a Demeter boon. Uh, there we go, that's better. I don't like being poisoned. I don't think many people do. Let's get some treasure. No, I'm not going to buy it. I know some of you are thinking, wait, Defender passed up the opportunity for healing? Who is this imposter? What have you done with the real Defender? Don't worry, no, it, I'm real. Well, it's the real me, and I also do exist, so, you know.
Listen, you know your, uh, your build is pretty good when you have no idea what you're doing. Like, when you can't really tell what's going on with all the effects happening. That works. Some of those urns have coin in them, don't they? Oh. Found it fast this time. I actually didn't want to, cause uh, now I can't heal myself. Oh well. Olympus, I accept this message. You know what? I'll take crystal beam. Your cast drops a crystal that fires a beam at foes. Cerberus can never get enough of this stuff. Okay, um... Could check the other passageways before I go. Do I keep going? Oh! What's this? Not far from here, the dead begin their journey to their final resting place down in the depths below. And so the river boatman, Charon, often passes through. Generous selection of his wares. Yes, very much so. Hmm... Do I stop or do I keep going? Eh, I'll stop. The widely feared and many-headed Cerberus, the underworld sentinel, presides over the entrance to this realm, devouring whole those fool enough to make attempts to flee. He loves to eat. Can you blame him? Yeah, he's got three heads. He has to keep all of them fed. Gigantic Cerberus accepts the prince's foul offering. I can go. All right. Let's fight Hades again. This is it. You now know that even if you are able to surpass me, you shall ultimately perish soon enough. And yet you still persist. Utterly senseless. I found her father, and I'm going to find mother again. And again and again until I have some answers finally. She'd like some answers too, beginning with why did you never tell her that I lived? You let her go and left her to her grief. Silence, boy. Save all your ignorant and baseless accusations. You seem incapable of heeding my request that you not blather on about a matter you shall never understand. Then I shall save my breath for this fight. Same. Go, my crystal! You've gotta be aware of the spin attack, because my reduced dash range will make it harder to evade that. Take that. Heed me, wretches, on my authority. I could have tried to handle this yourself. Oh, yes, disappear, Hades, please. Oh, good. Good, 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 good.
Are you serious? to get rid of the mooks. No, I'm just gonna protect myself. Next phase. There. Well, actually, final phase, but you know what I mean. Your youth provides you with a certain mindless strength, but such power has its limits. So be it. It'll be more than a match for you. We're not finished. Come on. You know what? I think I'm just gonna wait. I will take this opportunity to get rid of some of the jars. Yes, more of the lasers. It's actually an attack I like. I just managed to squeak out of that one. I'm gonna use that just to get rid of that cast. Next phase. And keep applying that chill. What was that backdash? That was cool! Ah! Alright, one more. We'll see about that, old man. That's gonna be a lot of shock waves. We're fine. Thanks again, Uncle Poseidon. You're not going to cooperate with me on this, are you? Even now, knowing Mother wants to see me again. Blast you. You shall ruin everything with all your damnable questions. 
Then die already, and get the hell out of my way. Gear on. Take me home. See you at home. That was as fast as I've gone. It was. Alright, so I guess what we found is that, um, Poseidon's call is really frickin' good. Not that I'm complaining. Found you. More blood. What am I gonna do with all this? Try to satiate a vampire? Alright, and thankfully we don't have to walk all the way this time. We can actually run now that we know that, you know, we don't have much time. We'll stop and admire the sunrise, though. Right. Cold. Okay, that's enough admiring. Let's go! <sighs> Easy, Zagreus. All manner of fruits and vegetables thrive within the hidden gardens of Persephone the one-time queen of all the underworld. A world of life, far from the realm of death. What are these things? Welcome back, my son. Hello, mother. Back, mother. I begged the fates that you'd return to me. Perhaps I ought to be more careful how I speak of them. Tell me, how was your journey? What happened? Father didn't make it any easier for me. Nor would he tell me why he never sent for you after you left. So, I don't know what's going on still, but I wanted to see you again. I wanted to see you too. Come, speak quickly with me, that our time together here may be as full as possible, alright? Right. I just... I need to know what happened between you and father. Why are you here and not with us? I couldn't live with myself anymore down there. After I left Olympus, a long story in itself, I came to be with your father in the underworld. It was a shock, to say the least. The others in your father's house were welcoming enough, but... I never felt that I belonged. I know the feeling, I think. But you stayed. Long enough to have me. Those whom I've spoken to about you, it's as you said. They have fond memories of you. And then you even had a child. Did father... did he mistreat you? No, no. Your father could be very difficult. Though, he was gentle with me. Soon enough, we got on fine. Better than fine, at times, but... When I was with child... Why, I struggled terribly. Because... Child born of surface dwellers could not live down there. Could not live down there according to whom, exactly? The fates? According to them, yes. According to your father, and to Nyx. Even having heard, I took my chances anyway. But when you emerged stillborn, it was too much. I fled. I fled and came to reside here. Above the notice of the underworld. Beneath the notice of Olympus. Uh, but why would Father lie to you? If he never wanted you, or never wanted me... Surely he had the means. I don't know. I'm wondering the same. But, oh, look at you, Zagreus. We're running out of time. It's happening again. Stay with me, please. I'm trying. But I can't stay that much longer, I don't think. Oh, my dear son. Then please, ask Hades what you asked of me. Why he would lie. Tell him I must know, the same as you. And you farewell. Until we meet again. Until we meet... again. Until we... Well, we're back. Welcome back. 
What are they on about now? What's up, Hypnos? It's usually pretty quiet keeping watch over the pool of sticks back there, but it's sure been busy lately. Why, somebody else came through just earlier. You should have seen the look on my face when it wasn't you. I'm more concerned about the look on Hades' face. Glad to keep things interesting. Yes, I guess. Well, what's going on here? You are not to aid him in these matters, Nyx. His foolishness is to be scorned and reprimanded, not indulged. Do we have an understanding? We have an understanding, Hades, yes. He is your own son, after all, and therefore your responsibility. I, in turn, have my commitments to this realm and to this house. You have aided me in them, so I remain, as ever, in your debt. It is not necessary to remind me. Surely all those who once defied my brothers and myself would much prefer a post within my house over eternity within the lowest depths of Tartarus. Not that the darkness there would trouble you. I hate it when they fight. I do too. Oh, hello Cerberus. I found her boy, my mother. Persephone, you remember her, don't you? She was pleased to hear about you. But I couldn't stay for long, and I have to find her again. So, guess I'll see you at the temple then. <laughs> the ghoulish features of the much reviled Hound of Hell all soften instantly upon the mention of a certain name. Briefly then, the monster is at peace. Well, here, have some pets. If I don't pet your other heads, don't bite my arm off. Deal? All right, well. Oh, hello, Achilles. How did it go, lad? We've been gone a while. For good reason, I hope. I found her again, sir, and we were able to talk some more. But I have so many questions left for her, and Father's certainly not been of any help. Well, first of all, good work. I knew you had it in you. Secondly, you know what you have to do. Go find her, for as many chances as it takes. It's not just her you've sought. It's the answers to those questions that you have. Right. Yes, I will. Alright, so as you can see by the little tool tip, give fish to the head chef. What? Uh, so let's do that first. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Greetings, All right. chef. Here you go, chef. Done deal. So as you can see, turning in fish to the heads, chef, gets you items. So it's always worth it to fish whenever you see the opportunity. Uh, oh, have I... I don't think I have, so... Here. Hey, uh, Meg. Look, uh, I know you're just doing your job out there, and anyway, found this, thought of you and all that, so here. I, I'll see to it. This contraband is put away at once. Now, take your finder's fee and go about your business. I, uh... Obtain the skull earring. Thanks. Hey, uh, what's that you're drinking, Meg? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Oh, so you are a vampire. Okay, I guess that's what this blood is used for, for then. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it, then. Leave me alone. All right. Thanatos, featured servant of the house. Anything good? Hmm, ooh. Trade an ambrosia for darkness. We won't need ambrosia for a long time, but... Oh, it'll come in handy later. No, I'm gonna hold on to it. Hey, Orpheus. It's awfully quiet here, you know, when you're out and about. It makes me a bit self-conscious, truth be told. Seeing as ostensibly I'm the musician of this court. Look, if you decide to start strumming on that lyre again, I'm sure nobody here is going to mind. Though you take care, okay? If you insist, my friend. No, listen, I'm going to threaten you until, you know, you're okay and everything's fine. Threatening friendship. Uh, let's see. We can got more things that we can uh purchase. Not that I'm going to. At least none of this stuff. So what work orders do we have? Let's see. 
uh, gives the house. <coughs> Let me try that again. Gives the house contractor a break and new jobs. All right, sure. Work approved. You've done so much for us, house contractor. Why don't you do a little something for yourself? Hey, that Fancy. Handy there. Ooh, look at all this stuff. So now we have new gem upgrades. Darker Thirst, your weapon's Dark Thirst also gives plus 20% gemstones. Gemstones Brilliant, claiming gemstone chamber rewards gives you 20 obol. Nectar Vintage, claiming nectar chamber rewards gives you one random boon level. Chthonic Keys Faded, giving, c claiming a Chthonic Key chamber reward gives you a Faded Authority, which enables you to alter the reward for the next chamber or some other choices. We have Darkness Pitch Black, claiming Darkness Chamber Rewards gives you plus 5 maximum health. Vanquisher's Keep gives you gems after awarding under defeating underworld bosses. And Gateway's Erebus, chambers may contain an Erebus Gate. This is used with the Pact of Punishment, and we won't be able to access it for a very long time. So let's just get some more wealth. You're asking price, good contractor. Well worth the fruits of your hard work, I'm sure. Let's see, we got more we can get, so we'll just keep that in mind. So we've got something to work with for our gems. And listen, in the 30-day span, I don't know if we're actually going to make it to Erebus Gates, but I will definitely try. Oh, hello, Dusa. Here. Um, Miss Dusa, I wanted you to have this. It's nothing, really, just for your hard work. Prince, I'm really grateful for this, really, and I thought I... Kind of got something for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Miss Dusa. Obtained the Harpy Feather Duster. Now, see, I thought that was going to be some kind of playing card. Oh, well. I uh, hope you're having a nice stay. Even though you don't want to live here anymore, Your Highness. And there she goes again. Yep. I want to go lie down. Oh. All right, we got some plot progression here. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? Well, I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. That sounds like mischief to me. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. Yeah. So, this is actually supposed to... This takes place after a certain number of attempts. The game isn't expecting you to actually succeed this early. So, you know, this is where you're supposed to learn some important, uh... He story bits. toward the stately throne of his lord father half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions, so Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. <laughs> you can't go over there, so we'll just check the desk. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus, which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But 
But father always said that Nix was... M that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. I love this point, because it's like, the story shouldn't have gone this way, and yet the narrator screwed it up. I just think that's really funny, but yes, this is where you're supposed to learn that Persephone is Zagreus' mother, and you gotta find her. But unfortunately, I was too good at this game, and basically sequence broke things. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone, and why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> oh. Why? Hello, Nyx. You... You're... Nyx, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... You lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Oh, father. Well, guess this hardens our resolve. A prophecy. All right, so let's look at uh, some of the new prophecies available to us. So yeah, you can get a reward for clearing runs with all of the packs of punishment conditions. Renovation services. All right, well that's easy enough. Okay, so let's see what we can upgrade. Get another cast. Maximum boiling blood damage. So until we get more keys, we cannot do anything with more darkness. So we're gonna have to work on getting some keys. Which I said I was gonna do this run, but I only got one. I think that should do it. Oh well. I should go. Oh. Huh. Skelly's not here. Oh well. What's that one there? All right, so we got two new keepsakes. The Skull Earring deals plus 20% damage while at 35% health or less. And the Harpy Feather Duster, broken urns have a 3% chance to contain health items. Hmm, what should I stick with? Let's see, what weapon should I pick? Oh, you've got Darker Thirst, but I don't have enough keys. Hmm. I need to find a key. Alright, so I've successfully escaped with both Baratha and Koronoct. So you know what? Let's go back to Aegis. My shield. Hey. Oh, hello, Skelly. Weapon there or what? What's up? Hey, you're getting pretty strong there, pal. Though I am being paid to tell you that. But not being paid to not tell you that last part. Wait, what now? I have to ask you something, mate. What do you even need the pay for, anyway? That, pal, is nobody's business but my own. Besides, it's impolite discussing money out of time. Now back to beating me to powder. Well, I mean, to be fair, we're dead too, and we need money, so, like, why are we questioning it, Zagreus? Everyone needs money. Let's see, um... Hmm... Should I keep the spiked collar? I would like to upgrade it. Let's see, if I'm gonna be using um, the shield, I'm gonna be in the front a lot, so. Hmm. You know what, let's take the Myrmidon Bracer. All set. All right, so. Um, yeah, so we escaped again. It was much easier this time. The ability to not to die, but not die, is really good, in case you couldn't have guessed. And uh, we've learned much more of the story. Just not in the order we should have learned it. But hey, what are you gonna do? So thank you for stopping by, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed the sixth day of Hades runs. 
If you'd like to stay up to date on the things that I do, I have a Twitter, Discord, and I stream on Twitch. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna take another run next time. For now, this is The Defender, signing out. See you later. Dang, these are getting longer and longer and longer. But that's okay, I really like making them, and I hope you enjoy watching them too. Okay, I'm actually ending things for real now.